Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. Today is Monday, August 2nd. It's currently 7.33 in the morning and my first day of classes is about to start at 8 a.m. So it's a very exciting day. I have no idea what to expect. And for my school, at least for this first block, is foundational principles, which is five weeks long and it's all the basic sciences. But on Mondays, we're on Zoom all day and I think that's gonna change after the first block. Three lectures that we have in the morning. So we start 8 a.m. We're just doing like orientation to our block. And then we have a chief concern, which we'll have every Monday. And that's kind of like a case, I think. And it's going to kind of be integrated or related to all the things we're learning this week. Then 9, 10, and 11, we have lectures. We have embryology, anatomy, and histology. So that's 8 to 12. We have one hour for lunch. And this is all on Zoom. <laughs> And then from one to five, we have application of embryology, application of histology, medical genetics, and then application of anatomy. The four hours in the afternoon, it's one hour groups. So even though it's on Zoom, we have an hour in group A and we're doing like application of the things that we learned from pre-work and like earlier in the day. And then we just like move through the groups. So I have no, like, I have no doubt that I'm going to be really freaking drained at the end of the day because it's all on Zoom. But I'm hoping since this isn't like traditional eight hours of traditional lecture and it's going to be like small group and discussions and quizzing ourselves and things like that, that, um, it won't be as bad as it could be since it's a lot of Zoom and a lot of sitting in this room. So we're getting started in like 25 minutes. I'm super excited and yeah, I'll just show you through the week. First class is done and I'm already tired. <laughs> it's so hard to sit still and like, just staring at the screen makes me sleepy, but it's okay. Let's see how embryology goes. All right. <laughs> First lecture was embryology and we broke out into uh, small groups of four students where we discussed all these questions based on our pre-work and oh my gosh, the first one, I was like, okay, I'm already lost. <laughs> it was really rough, but it's good, it's good. Now I'll know how to do my pre-work better after today, um, fun stuff. Next is anatomy and gosh, I have, I have all my stuff concentrated like right in the middle because we do poll everywhere when she asks us questions sometimes. I'm doing desktop is for Zoom. And then I have my iPad for all of the slides and lecture notes and stuff. So like I got a lot going on. I have to like have a more organized setup. Anyway, okay, I have to take a break. Then anatomy. Okay, totally not freaking out. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> that was a lot. Morning classes are done. It's time for lunch. We're having sushi. My grandma and Marcy just got here, so. Let's just eat and not think about what just happened. <laughs> All right, lunch break is over. Chatted with the fam for a little bit and now we're doing application of embryology. The first four hours of the day were already pretty like active learning. So I'm curious how these groups, sessions in the afternoon are gonna go and how they can be like even more active learning and stuff. So we'll see. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not the one to be easily overwhelmed, but it is safe to say that I'm very overwhelmed after the first day of school. Holy cow. Um, that's a lot, but I'm trying my best to stay. Uh, just like not freak out and stay calm and cool and collected. It'll all be fine. Um, yeah, so now I gotta go see. I think I'm gonna take my grandma and Marcy to the airport and then study probably until 30 minutes before I go to bed and, oh. Fun stuff, but it's good. It's fun. It's good. I'm excited and happy. <laughs> hey guys, so I just am walking back from the library and I didn't get near as much done as I wanted to. I spent half the time, um, oh. I spent half the time just organizing our lectures and my notability and all that stuff, and then I got into a good groove that I think will work for going through the pre work lectures. But I'm gonna prioritize my sleep and my sanity. I'm gonna have dinner. My family, my mom and Larry still in town. And I'm gonna go to bed. And I'll do the rest of the morning because I'm determined to have eight hours of sleep a night. Despite being very overwhelmed and having a lot to do, I'll figure it out, so that's what we're doing.
Hey guys, it's Tuesday, August 3rd. It's about 5.41 a.m. and I have four lectures today from 8 to 12. And I have to finish pre-work because I went to bed early and got my eight hours of sleep. So now I'm gonna finish that up before classes start. Um, the pre-work that we have today is, I have a video on genetics, it's about 22 minutes. Then I have pharmacology video and then like eight questions to answer. Um, another video, another pre-work, another video, and something that says biochem handout. So I'm going to go through that, see how it goes, and yeah, I'll be done before classes, have breakfast later, and yeah, it's going to be a great freaking day. It's going to be awesome. I was in such a bad mood last night just because I was so overwhelmed, and then once I decided that I was just going to get my eight hours of sleep and not stay up till midnight freaking out, I've felt a lot better since then, so it's gonna be a great day. All right, it's 7.40 in the morning. I got my pre-work done. I didn't do it super in-depth, which I probably should have, but I kind of like feel like I need to organize all my notes and all the things and just like see how the second day of lecture goes. I have a big block this afternoon and I'm gonna study and like do all the things this afternoon. So I didn't go super in-depth. What I'm doing right now, I have 20 minutes till class starts. I'm watching a Zach Kiley off the tutorial. It's like 40 minutes, so I'm gonna try and speed through it on two times speed that like explains the settings of Anki and try and maybe implement that, see if that's what I wanna do. Third attempt trying Anki. It's very foreign, but I'm gonna give it another try since, you know, med school and everybody talks about it. Hey guys, so it is 12.26 in the afternoon and I'm ready. I have the rest of the day free, all my family's gone, which like, isn't a thing to celebrate. I'm just saying like, I have the actual free time to sit down and just digest what is happening right now. So I gotta eat real quick. And then I think my game plan is to, well, I set up Anki. I was watching Anki videos during lecture just because like, I can't think about material until I have a method to go through the material. So I went through Anki videos on YouTube and I set up my account and like all the little add-ons and <laughs> I don't understand it. I just did what the guy said he did and I'm gonna try it that way. So I'm gonna start with embryology because it's the hardest for me and just go through pre-work. I'm gonna organize all my learning objectives in one place, go through the lecture slides with the answers, create Anki cards. So that's the game plan and the goal is to finish by 6.30. So I'm gonna just sit in my office for the next six hours to let you know how lecture went. Um, everybody's freaking out because with this whole active learning, the first year of curriculum, it's like, they tell us not to spend super long on pre-work, so then, but then during lecture, they go really in depth and we're supposed to discuss all these things in small groups with no facilitator and we're all lost. It's like blind leading the blind and everybody in the chat was like, what should we focus on? Like learning objectives or lecture? And like, but the pre-work takes me so long and if I don't spend six hours, then I don't feel like I can be active in small group. And like the professor was like, you're supposed to fumble through it. And everybody's like, but I don't wanna fumble through it. I want traditional lecture. And like, it was a hot mess today. So I am going to just stay positive and like our professor said today and in orientation, trust the process, do my best. And you know, it's our first week. If we fumble through the first exam, like we'll at least learn what to do next week. So I feel like there's no need to stress. It's all going to be fine. And I'm excited to study for the next six hours. That makes me sound like such a nerd, but I do. I am. I'm excited. I have a great start. This is definitely going to take me longer then I feel like it probably should spend on it, but I don't know, that's okay. I'm gonna go with the plan and just move, so go on from there. Hey guys, it's about 6.40 in the evening and I'd say I got through about 95% of what I wanted to get through with embryo. Um, again, like yesterday, I could easily study until midnight, but I said I'd call it quits at 6.30, so I'm just gonna like, be done for the day, wake up early again tomorrow. Um, mainly just like reflect on what went good for today as far as like my study method that I'm like trying to adapt, I guess, and be a little more efficient next time I do it. Cause I think I'm just like a little too slow. I need to be faster at creating the Anki cards while I'm going through the content. So I'm not like spending too much time. Like I can't spend this much time every day, but happy with today. I feel really it's like so much better about embryo. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, 7.35 a.m. and I'm headed to class. I had the exact same morning as yesterday, so I figured it'd be a little redundant to show you. Wake up at five, 
shower, say quickly for a walk, get to pre-work or start pre-work by 5.30 a.m. and got that done for the day. I'm headed to docs, which is where it's all about like clinical skills and assessing patients and stuff, but obviously we're not gonna see a standardized patient today since it's the first week more like orientation and talking about how to like go through like questions that you ask the patient. Anyway, gotta go. I'm gonna be early to class today, I'm determined because orientation I kept slipping in like right a, month, a minute after we were supposed to be there. So gonna get there early. Hey guys, um, it's 4.53 in the afternoon. Um, my hair is crazy. I'm all curled up in bed. I know I didn't show you guys much today, but it was all in person and I'm just like not at the point yet where I'm like, okay, let's vlog in front of all my classmates that I just met. Um, but it's a really good day right now. I have a lot of studying to do, but I'm going to take a 15 minute nap. It's been an eight hour day. Um, and I just need to like, there's some glee coming to join me. <laughs> I just need to not think about anything related to school for like 30 minutes and then I'll be back to it. And I'm gonna study, maybe go past my 6.30 mark because yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna nap now. <laughs> All right guys, it's 5.42. I didn't really sleep, but it was really nice to just lay down and not think about school. Now I am going to give myself three hours to study, no longer, no shorter, and my overall philosophy is that I'm not stressing about this test Friday because we have no idea what to expect. I'm just gonna do my best. Um, I'm gonna get through one more subject. I have a big chunk of time in the morning. Then we only have four hours of like active learning lectures from one to five, I believe. And then I'll be able to study for three hours tomorrow evening. So I have like three big chunks of time between now and our first exam. So yeah, I'm not gonna stress, I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna pull up the learning objectives, the slides from lecture, and then create Anki cards and try to, I don't know. I don't know from there, but yeah. Either way, for the next three hours, I'm gonna study, I'm gonna be done by nine o'clock, get my eight hours of sleep, and yeah. It's 6 a.m., it's Thursday, and fun fact, last night was a complete failure. One, it's, I, I can, I'm not, I hate it when people say, I can't do something. I can, I can study in the evenings, it's possible. But it's a lot harder and I have to be a, a lot more intentional. Like it's just easier to get distracted and like not end up being really productive versus the mornings I'm super productive. So last night took me like at least 20 minutes to figure out how to do the Anki cards. Like I was like, why don't they say do? Like they say new and like, what do I click? Like I literally didn't know how to do the cards. So I figured that out eventually, did the cards, which took a, a minute even though there's not that many. And then I got started on farm like I planned and watched a couple videos, made some questions. And then I tried to move on to the lecture videos and it took me at least 20 minutes to find where our lecture recordings are. Basically by that point, it was like, okay, nothing's really happening. So I just gave up and went to bed, got my eight hours. Now I'm gonna have a much more productive morning. I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes figuring things out. I'm just gonna get straight to the lectures, go to farm, and then do genetics, and then, I don't know, rework the whole thing that I just wrote last night. We'll see how today goes. All right, farm studying went great. Um, took longer than I wanted to, but that always happens. And I'm getting a quick snack, some caffeine, and on to genetics. All right, it's time to go to class. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but we have a um, exam tomorrow, so I downloaded the exam to my laptop because we take it in person. I feel like I said this a lot, but I sound like, quite the slacker now. I really did not get much genetics done. It's like hard to study because I feel like you learn so much genetics in undergrad. Like, what else is there to know? Actually, there's a few terms like I could have just done better, but you know, I don't know. I'm most productive early in the morning, okay? I did my best. I got a little bit done. Not a lot. Now it's time for class. All right, I'm back from class. It was a, actually went by really quick, but four hours is on land. It's kind of a lot for just sitting there and lecture, but it was a lot of like integration stuff, like integrating embryonics, embryology with anatomy and integrating pharmacology with genetics and all that. So um, I'm starving and I was gonna stay on campus and just get something at the bagel shop and study at the library, but of course the bagel shop's closed. So I'm making a pizza and I'm just gonna go through like learning objectives and stuff, but I'm ravenous. I have got to eat. I don't know how people study past 6 p.m. I'm actually getting a decent amount done. Like, as far as 
filling my knowledge gaps and going through the learning objectives, figuring out what I don't know and just like looking up the terms and stuff. And I feel like it's like quality studying, but every 10 minutes I'm like on my phone or like distracted or not doing something. Um, so I'm just not a fan of studying in the evenings. I have a test tomorrow, so I feel like I should study for a while, but I have a feeling it's not gonna last much longer. <laughs> okay, well, what do you know? 10 minutes later, I am calling quits for the night. It is 7.38 p.m. And, you know, this isn't a slacker. I, I'm not being a slacker. I am just being intentional and playing on my strengths and weaknesses. Studying in the evenings is my weakness. I wanna like watch TV or read or something and, yeah, so I'm just gonna, it's gonna be fine. Maybe in 24 hours, if I get like a 20% of my exam, I'll feel way different. Be like, oh my gosh, I'm such a failure. I should have worked harder. I don't know. Only time will tell. But now it's time to relax. Hey guys, it's 5.45 in the morning. I'm gonna head straight to the office and start sitting. I literally had to pull Oakley out from under the covers to go on our walk this morning. I don't even think I tried yesterday morning. Like, she literally sleeps like a human. She sleeps on her dog bed until I get up to go to the shower, and then she makes her way under the covers. <laughs> but I made her go on a walk, and now she's standing at the door trying to go back into bed. I'm gonna make her hang out in the office with me. <laughs> she's a, a goofball. Fun fact. One of the most fun things that I've learned so far in anatomy is that there's compartments in our limbs and whichever part of the leg that we were talking about on Monday has four compartments and based on this, and we were talking about compartment syndrome and based on the symptoms you have from that, you can tell which compartment has compartment syndrome in the leg and one that we talked about was tingling in between the big toe and the next toe means that it's in like one of the compartments, you know, you can tell which compartment it is just from tingling in between the toes. So that's my nerd moment for a fun thing that I've learned this week. <laughs> now I'm gonna go study that PowerPoint and fill in all the gaps and all the things that I don't remember about that. <laughs> but I thought it was so super cool. I finished. <laughs> okay, my plan totally worked. I knew that histology and anatomy was not gonna take much time to go through. We just like haven't covered much. So it didn't take long at all. It's 7.39, Friday morning. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm happy that I like got through all the subjects and did my studying and now I'll just take this check-in. We don't really call them tests or exams. It's a check-in um, and see whether I'm completely off base and I need to do something completely different next week or if I did okay, which I won't know until 6 p.m. Okay, we took our exam and we went through over answers and I felt really, really good after I took the exam and I thought it was so easy. And then when we had the large group and reviewed some of the answers, I was like, oh no, I missed that one and I missed that one. So I don't, I didn't look at my score yet. So I didn't want to open it up in front of the big group. And so I have to look at my score. And then I'm going to go hang out with friends and not do anything school related Friday, the rest of Friday or Saturday. Okay, so I got my score. I did perfectly fine. Happy with how that went. Well, I wouldn't say happy because I made a lot of silly mistakes, but for the amount that I studied to get a good score, and I didn't have to stay up until 2 a.m. every day, so I'm glad that I didn't sacrifice that eight hours of sleep all week. So this ends the vlog. After this whole test thing, I'm just like, mm. my Friday is over. I'm relaxing for the rest of the day. Super excited for next week now that I know what the exams are like. I think the only thing I'm gonna do differently next week is like be a little more focused during my studying and maybe try study groups because I didn't do that much. I didn't fail my first medical exam and I survived my first week of medical school. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one.